Hello, I am David Znone, a technical marketing engineer here at Infoblox. And today we are here to talk about the new Blox1 feature, NIOS Grid Connector. First, we will see an overview of the NIOS Grid Connector. Then we will explain and demonstrate a use case for this feature. After that, we will see an overview of how to configure the feature along with a brief walkthrough of how to set everything up. Finally, to wrap things up, we will conclude with a short summary. Now let's take a look at an overview of the NIOS Grid Connector. The NIOS Grid Connector offers a unified view of DDI assets between the Blox1 Cloud and the Infoblox Grid. The NIOS Grid Connector also extends API access from NIOS to the Blox1 platform for increased network visibility. The data between the two platforms is easily distinguishable, visible, in a single control plane. Now let's take a look at a use case for this feature. First, an administrator creates a new asset on the Infoblox grid. This data is then synced with the Blox1 cloud. Then, an administrator deletes an asset from the Infoblox grid. This data is also synced with the Blox1 cloud. Now let's take a look at this use case in a live environment. First, let's observe the contents of the CSP. Note that some contents from NIOS already exist. This is indicated by the orange icon. Inside the default Infoblox IP space, we can see a single network currently exists. On the NIOS device, let's add a new network. Let's give the network the CEDAR address of 192.168.0.0. Slash 24. Then, inside of that new network, let's create a new host at the IP address 192.168.0.31. Back on the CSP, note the network 192.168.0.0/24 that we just created. We can see the contents of this network by clicking on it. Inside of the network, we can see the host 192.168.0.31. To view more information on this host, simply click on it. To demonstrate the syncing of deletion events between the grid and the CSP, let's delete the network we just created and view the results. Back on the CSP, we can see that the network is no longer visible, all thanks to the NIOS Grid Connector. Now we will go over a brief overview of how the NIOS Grid Connector is configured. First, acquire a join token from the Infoblox CSP. Then, apply the join token to the Infoblox Gridmaster, Gridmaster Candidate, or a standalone member. Finally, enable the NIOS Grid Connector for the NIOS device in the Infoblox CSP. Now let's walk through the configuration of the NIOS Grid Connector in a live environment. First, acquire a join token from the Infoblox CSP. Join tokens can be acquired by navigating to Manage, then On-Prem Hosts. Once the on-prem host page has loaded, click Join Tokens located near the top of the page. By clicking Create, we can create a new join token. Let's give the join token a name and a description. As we can see, the join token is visible in the dialog box that is revealed. Copy the join token for use later. Please note that once you close this dialog box, the join token can no longer be accessed. Next, access the web interface of the Infoblox grid. Navigate to Grid, then Grid Manager. Click the checkbox associated with a Gridmaster, Gridmaster Candidate, or a standalone member. In this environment, we will configure the NIOS grid connector on our Gridmaster. By clicking Edit, we can see the settings of the Gridmaster. 
In the grid master settings, click CSP config in the navigation panel. Visible will be the CSP config settings. Click the override button associated with the join token text field. Then, in the join token text box, input the join token that was acquired from the CSP. Click save and close to confirm all changes. Then, back in the CSP, navigate to manage, then to on-prem hosts. Note the new scene iOS device that is now visible. Click the checkbox associated with the device, then click Edit. Here we can see the settings of the CNIOS device. Let's give the device a name and a description. Then let's expand Applications and Services. By scrolling down, we can see the NIOS Grid Connector toggle switch. Enable the service by clicking the toggle switch. Finally. Save all changes by clicking Save and Close. Now let's recap what was covered in this video. First, we cover the capabilities and benefits of the NIOS Grid Connector. Then, we showcase the power of this feature by demonstrating the syncing of network assets between NIOS and the Bloxman Cloud. Finally, we covered how to configure this feature. Thank you for your time viewing this video. All documentation regarding this feature is located on the Infoblox documentation portal located at docs.infoblox.com. If you have any other concerns, questions, or comments, you can find myself or other Infoblox experts at the Infoblox community website, community.infoblox.com.